You have all these bloody people everywhere you go having their wedding photographs done. It's so ludicrous. I mean, why do, what have they got to do with this house? It's like, well, turning up in somebody else's back garden just because you want to look grander than you really are and you don't have a very nice garden yourself. I mean, why pay two Zwati when you can pay 50? Which is what I've just done to have two tickets because we're getting the tour in English, which means that I may understand something and you may understand something. Now that strikes me as being a bargain. problem here. There are mole hills everywhere, all over the grass, everywhere. Now, I don't, is there some law for the preservation of the mole in Poland? They're very, they're very squeamish about animals, the way they treat animals, you know. Well here, I mean, every lawn, mounds and mounds of mole hills. Well, we've just seen this mole hill of a house, actually. Um, it's so sad. You see the house, you see this fantastic facade. And then you go in and you see a house that has been ruined by bad taste and too much money. This crazy man, Kostante uh, Zamoyski, had copies of all his relations churned out. All the famous paintings of the Zamoyski family over the centuries were copied and every bit of wall space is covered with relations, huge canvases, not very well painted on the whole, big ugly Victorian furniture, heavy red drapes, sort of oppressiveness. And it's a pity because the house has big windows and yet inside it is dark and gloomy and cold and gauche. A few things of interest, like the pianola, which we weren't allowed to see, uh, and the, the Italian self-playing piano, which we weren't allowed to see. And the poor girl who guided us didn't know how they worked or who made them or anything about them at all. Is it worth going to? Is it worth going inside? Is it worth paying the 55 zwati to go, to go round? Well, yes, because it's quite a good thing to see, to learn about how not to spend money if you've got it. Uh, and just in passing, it might interest you to know that the house itself was stolen by the Polish government after the war. Uh, but the family, which, which had fled to, Pol to, to Canada, insisted on recompense, and they got compensation of 17 million zloty, which will buy you a sort of large suburban house and um, the right to come here for two or three months a year and not live in the house, but have rooms somewhere on the estate. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. But I don't know, if, you, if, if this is really your house, I don't see why you shouldn't stay in it. Do you? And here is Zosha. Czartoryska Zamoyska, Isabella Czartoryska's beautiful daughter, who provided the beautiful faces in the Zamoyski family. This is a copy of her tomb in Florence, where she's buried. 